I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play The Night That Speaks. Made in four days, inspired by Game Boy Jam. I, I meant to play this last... There we go. Last year around um, Halloween time, which is around when it came out, I think. I ended up forgetting. Rip. Islandguard. 2000... Yeah, we can't read that crap. Yeah, I think it is actually written somewhat readable, but then the Game Boy filter kind of makes it unreadable. It's not important. I like these Weeping Willows. I just really like the look of this game. I'm not sure... I, I guess since it's called short that there's an end to it. That's right, Parker. Um, I guess let's just crawl into this mausoleum. Or just this... this is exactly how I hold out my hand when I'm just walking around. It's got a nice spooky atmosphere. Got some spooky papers. Oop. Was that a spook? Z to pick up. She was perfect in every way. She was intelligent with very thin L's. Beautiful and loved by everyone. She wanted to live forever. Spooky door. I can't tell if the door is spooky, like moving. Okay, the door is moving. It is said that a strong sense of will can solve any problem in front of you. Hold Z to exert your will. Parker, calm down. I'm gonna exert my will uh, after I get out of this. <laughs> That's how you exert your will. You exert your will with your middle finger. So this is a spoopy game, and it's got some spoops. And uh, I guess we got spooped. I was gonna flip off the spoop, but I got spooped instead. My hands are just covered in spoop right now. That's embarrassing. Well. I guess the goal is to read all of these papers? Maybe? Or just get to the end, I suppose. She always knew what to do. She didn't need to listen to anyone. With this darkness, it speaks. You must listen. I thought I heard a thing. Like, coming around to bite my face off, but... Maybe it was just the, uh... Fire stuff. The crackles. We got spooks. Do we got any spooks? Up! Oh, it's a it's a spooky, scary skeleton. So, just clear out this. Is that another spook? No. Just gonna read this. Parker, calm down. What are you doing? What are you doing? That is a table. You cannot eat the table. What are you doing? Weird. Sorry about that. She worked. She worked very hard at everything, and she was better at everything. There was always a solution. This case was no different. Okay. We have spooky music coming in this direction. Is that a spook? It's a spook. Get out of here, spook! I killed it. I killed it by flipping it off. That's. This is what you have to do when spooks are after you. I hear your spoop music. So that music means spoop. So I guess we're just in these catacombs and we gotta find our way out. Just gotta flick everything off. She was perfect in every way. She was arrogant, vain, and envied by everyone. That doesn't sound exactly perfect, but whatever. She would live forever. Undeterred by the spoops in the dark. Weird. You sort of take one extra step at the end. Oh. I hear you, spoop. Show your spoop. Show the spoop. I hear you. I hear you. Let's get a good look at that. Nope. No hands for me, thanks. Oh, you can move well, exerting your will. You got some crying noises. Oh, man, I really like this look. It, it's surprisingly fitting for the mood. Like, this works. This look works. What is that? Oh, is that... I think I killed it. 
I just saw like a mouth. I'm not sure what that was. It's, it. Oh, it's not dead yet. Would you be dead? Okay, it's dead now. I see you. What was it? Was it doing the head thing? It was doing the spooky head thing. That's excellent. But yeah, th this really works well. The the atmosphere works even even in the lo-fi. I really like the idea of lo-fi horror. It's not really done often enough. Like, it forces your mind to fill in the details, and it's just really aw. We need a key. Um, you know, it's like those old. Um, I mentioned this back in '99. Or 95. I see you. Um. Yeah, back in 1995, there was a. Uh, in the game back in 1995. Um. I mentioned the original. Silent Hill games. Uh, oh! I got spooked! I was holding the spook! anti-spook button you suck um but yeah the the textures were very undefined and like you could tell it was like rotten skin and stuff but you couldn't make out the exact details of everything um i don't know where i am um you couldn't make out the exact details but you uh oh, that's a nice little skeleton hey buddy um she was brave and determined. The knight called her forth. And she came willingly. She, she, you just said she would live forever. What is this heart bullcrap? There are no spoops here. Calm down. Why is it spooping itself? Calm down. There's no reason to be spooped. She knew there was a way out. She listened. Is there something... No, there's... Calm down. Oh, now there's something coming after me. Well, that is a good spooky sound effect, though. Oh, it's coming from this end. Are you dead? Excuse you. Please die. Not this time, bro. Um, what was I reading? She knew that there was no way out. She learned... She listened to listen for the chains and growls of the deep. There's just a hand here. Just a hand. Wait, can I pick up the hand? Or is that just a read? Yeah, that's just a read. I need a key. The, the, the original Silent Hill games did a really great job of leaving just enough detail out of the monsters to leave you... Leave some to the imagination. There is spoop, like, around the corner. But I- oh! Take that. I think this is just a spoopy TV. Oh, I thought I turned it on with my middle finger, which would be amazing. But no. Okay, so there's a key somewhere. We gotta find the key. Broken down door. Where would I hide a key in the mysterious catacombs? Hmm. I swear if I get the key and then die, and then I can't- I don't know where the key was again. Is this... I hear the music again. She couldn't find her way out. She was lost, but excuse me. I know you're coming. The air was so thick she couldn't scream. This lady doesn't sound so perfect after all. Sounds not perfect. Excuse you! You weren't even in my vision. That was rude. That was just rude. The trying to kill me thing is rude too, but you gotta you gotta be chivalrous in your attempted murders. You gotta have some ground rules, and you gotta follow them, you know? Is this the locked door? Okay, I know where the locked door is. That's... That is half the battle. The other half is actually opening the damn door. I was already this way. I hear you, Spoop. No, I was 
already down this way with the computers. It's an interesting touch that your uh, vision fades a bit while you're doing the middle finger thing. So you can't just do it constantly or- oh! No! No! Okay. The scariest thing in this game is that the middle finger button is mapped to the same button as the pickup button. Yeah, that, that is the scariest thing, that you can accidentally pick stuff up. Between the lanterns, there was a cold wind and she fell through. There was something she couldn't see. Between the lanterns, there was a cold wind? Between the lanterns. Between the lanterns. Ah, oh, We got some Shadow Temple bullcrap going on. What was that? You will know pain. Thank you. I'm very knowledgeable. He perfect. He was perfect in every way. He would succeed where she failed. He had the key. He would escape. Press Z to get key. We got key, but we're gonna know pain. So I'm gonna guess there's gonna be bullcrap. I don't want to go through the door. There's bad stuff on the other side of that door, isn't there? Would you? Would you? Not? There's bad stuff on the other side of the door. We'll come through the door. Am I supposed to die? Like, he's right there, and I can't do anything about that. Okay, I killed it. That was annoying. It was right there. Screw you. There's two of you. How dare you? Look at that mouth. It's dead now. Would you go away? I need to go to a door. Excuse me. Door. Z to open. All right, we're free. Up, oh, spook. We got spooked. There is a spooky thing. You heard the stories. You didn't care. You will live forever. Welcome to the darkness. We are spooked. We're dead. Please don't do the thing where you close the game. Oh, I'm one of them now. Aw, oh, yes. Aw, oh, yes. The end. Press escape to quit. Well, that was the night that speaks. That was really, I really like that. That, uh, the aesthetic really works. Uh, there could be, like, maybe not quite Game Boy colors, but I think a lo-fi horror thing could do, really do a lot.